Yeah, I got him. I got him. All right. I did it. Come out of that painting. I know you want to. Don't you dare turn around, you son of a... No. Dang it. He's fast, this one. He's fast. Well, Johnson from accounting will not listen to me. I've tried to work with him, but gosh darn it, he will not listen. I've tried to reason with him and told him that I'd cut his salary if he didn't, but gosh darn it. Not listen. He's not gonna come out of the same painting. I might as well look for the other one. Do, 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 do. I oh he did? Wow, I have no idea how I did that. Okay. Do I actually have to aim this? If so, how? This is stupid. You can't aim how do how do aim? How do work? How do magic work? I don't care. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we made it to the boss battle against this Ganon guy kind of person. And I failed to beat him because of stupid arrow problems, stupid health problems. And I took a visit to the doctor. He told me that, hey, it's okay. You know, you're just lacking in the IQ area, and I think you'll be fine if you take it one step at a time. So, yeah, I think I should be good this time around, honestly. It's... It was just honestly conditions and that didn't really work in my favor. But I should be okay this round, honestly. If things go as according to plan. And I love how I keep looking at the right picture during this fight. It's actually quite amazing, so. I'm actually kind of forcing myself to record right now. I really don't like doing that, but I've been kind of putting off this project a lot and I really just want to kind of get something done for once. No, don't shock me! What shocking developments is this? These. That was a terrible pun. I feel ashamed now. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm kind of pushing myself to actually record this. But, hey, I mean... Sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet. You know? It's that they don't... Well, I can't say that. <laughs> I just haven't been in, like, the best mood as of late. I've been, like, really... Like, uh... Like, where I don't want to even do anything, honestly, so... It's like, why should I even... Just put this off just because I don't want to do anything at all. I mean, that's stupid. Oh, look, I finally hit him. Die, you beast! You look ugly as sin, therefore you must die. As I'm saying... Whew, I like how he floats around, it's kind of weird. That was way too close. You got way too close to me, pal. Really? Really, Link? You're not good at this, are you? What the freak? You get way too close to me, pal. You're invading my personal space. I hope you know that. That's a public offense. It's not? Well, now it is. You know that? Because I'm the governor. I'm the governor of Hyrule. The, the messenger and governor of Hyrule. That's who I am. Who are you? You're nobody. You're a guy with a freaking skull for a face. How does that make you feel, huh? How does it make you feel? Man, you have to volley this thing quite a few times, don't you? Oh, come on! How... How are you supposed to time that? Especially with, like, um... Like, this game doesn't exactly have, like, good depth perception, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. So it's kind of hard to see when it's actually in front of me. So, I don't I don't know. So I'm kind of just like... Eh. 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 Oh, look. There we go. I got another hit off! Yeah, 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 hit him, hit him, hit him where it hurts! Hit him hard! Wow, that was, that was easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, we got him on the ropes! We got him on the ropes! Okay, so much for that. There went the momentum, there went the momentum killer. I am the ultimate volleyball master, you cannot beat this. I am the greatest of the Australian Volleyball League. I swear to God, if I failed this, I just failed my country of Australia. Because I'm Australian, and I've offended the whole country. <laughs> Don't worry, Australia! I won't let you down! I will defeat the Skull Man! Who has a Marowak. Well, at least he looks like one. Oh! Die, 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 you ugly ass mofo. Yes! Victory, thy name is Link! And then his corpse flies in the air, because that's that's cool. Hey kid, you did quite well. It looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. 
But you have defeated only my phantom. When you can fight the real me, it won't be so easy. A worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions! And then, I will kick its ass! Something like that. Yeah, well, you won't be doing that anytime soon. Ooh, that's my reward! And I got a pizza heart. Oh, a heart container. A pizza container. That's cool. Blue light. Green light. <laughs> I'm floating, Mommy. My dreams have come true. And I have become money. My clothes have become money. That's what I've always dreamed. The Chamber of Sages. I was crystallized for a thousand years, like Captain America. I Wait, I mean, Captain Australia. That's right. I am Captain Australia. <gasps> it's a little girl! Wait, that's Saria. Seriously, why haven't you people aged? <laughs> How? <laughs> it doesn't make sense! I know somebody already explained that, but still! It doesn't make sense! Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am Saria, the sage of the Forest Temple. I'm not doing a voice for you because I don't like girl voices anymore. They sound stupid, coming from my voice anyway. I always believed that you would come because I know you. No. I, sh I should give you a voice, just not a girly voice. Um, I'm not gonna, what should I give? I can give you a hippie voice. Cause, Cause you're from the forest and. You don't have to explain it to me, man. Because it's destiny that I can't live in the same world. I will stay here as the forest sage and help you. Now please, take this medallion. It's all about the peace, man. <laughs> Just gotta spread the love to the other sages. Give them this medallion, man. You got the green poopy medallion! That is the disturbing smile Link has on his face. What is that? It looks weird. You've received the Forest Medallion. Sorry, awakens as a sage and adds her power to yours. For a limited price of only $14.95, call today and receive a bonus offer of her drawers. That's right, a bonus offer of her hippie drawers. That's $19.95, call today. That wasn't wrong at all. I fully support this cause. Why are we in front of the Great Deku Tree? Yeah, that's the first thing I do when I see a strange plant. <laughs> what the? What the hell? <laughs> Hi there! I am the Deku Tree Sprout. Because you and Saria broke the curse on the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish. You have the derpiest face ever. It looks like a ditto. <laughs> Thanks a lot! Um... What? <laughs> hey, have you seen our old friends? None of them recognized you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kokiri never grow up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. But... Even after seven years, they're still... What about me? I'm a Kokiri! How come I've grown? You must be wondering why only you have grown up. You Weisenheimer. You're speaking tele telepathically to me. I'm on to your charade. Nah, I trust you. You, you have a derpy face. That's a plus on my book. Well, as you might have guessed, you're not a Kokiri. You're actually a Hylian. I'm a fish. <laughs> I am happy to reveal this secret to you. Okay, cool. And do I get special powers being this Hylian guy? Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. You cannot take this cutscene seriously from him, I'm sorry, you can't. One day, to escape from the fires of war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered the Forbidden Forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. Wait, so I had a mom? This is the first time I've actually heard that Link had a mom. The Deku Tree could sense that this, since this child of destiny, whose fate would affect the entire world, so we took him to the forest. 
I like how this voice is so unmatching to the fires at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kokiri! And now, finally, the day of destiny has come! A DATER DOG! <laughs> okay, Ditto, seriously. You are a Hylian, and we're always bound to leave this forest! And now, you have learned your own destiny, so you know what you must do. No. That's right, you must save the land of Hyrule! Now, Snag, break the curses on all the temples, and return peace to Hyrule! Screw here! Derpykins. <laughs> Only fair! I'm a dick- Oh god, don't start this crap again. Go! I don't want to hear this ditto. Ditto! Ditto! <laughs> okay, so this was an interesting development. I'm a Hylian. My mom came over here with me when I was a baby. And now... I'm a dude. I am awesome. And everybody else still sucks, including you, Mr. M.O. here. I must be able, I don't care, that I wash, don't wash my hair. I don't, I don't even know how that song goes. <laughs> that, was, that was bad of me to sing it in the first place, but whatever. I don't care. Dude, I'm highly in, and they're freaking cool here. They're little kids. They're not even going to understand what an M.O. even is. So, you know, I'm just laying down the land, the laws of the land, you know what I'm saying, dawg? Oh. Okay, so, now we have, like, a million things we could probably do with our new bow and arrow and stuff. So, everybody's been waiting for this, probably. They've been like, oh my god, get the freaking horse already, you piece of crap! And so, I will. By the way, that's exactly how you people sound to me. Every time I see you in my head, I imagine, oh my god, you're such a retard, you don't know where everything is! That's what I see. I see this mental image of you going <sighs> like you like you stepped on attack. You probably I probably threw attack at you and I apologize for that, but um I got to keep my notes somewhere. <laughs> you can pretty much hold them and I got to place you up somewhere, you know. That's and that's where your role comes in. <laughs> I am so mean towards my viewers. I don't care. If you're really watching this, then holy crap, I'm surprised you haven't pulled your hair out by this point. <laughs> and I salute you. You know, I really don't show you guys as much respect as I should. I actually appreciate you guys like you wouldn't believe it. And what's this with oh, the chickens? There are so many chickens in here. I know what I will be having tonight. Huh? And suddenly I am flinch. So I become French and Australian within a matter of hours. This is amazing. Link is just like multiculturally um, advanced. I have a pretty faint idea of what I can do with this cuckoo for some reason, and I don't know why, but I feel like I should show it to, um, Mr. Mario in here. Uh, I think his name's Talon, right? Yeah. Yeah, his name's Talon. His name's Talon. He might be out in the field, I don't know. He could be somewhere else entirely for all I freaking know. But I wanna see if I can find him somewhere. You know what I'm saying, dog. Is he in here? No. Why has this room never served any purpose yet? Th this room has n served no purpose whatsoever. It's just like, oh, this is a place where you can sleep. Well, at least they did that. I, I shouldn't be complaining about that because that's like a detail that they sometimes skip in video games. Like, like oh, they, there's one room in this entire house. There's just a kitchen table, TV. That's all you need. We just pull out a bed for... Hello, nurse. <laughs> Hello, nurse. Oh, a visitor. <coughs> no, I can't do a voice for you. <coughs> no, I, I was about to do a country voice, but that kind of ruined it for me. It's been a long time since we've had a visitor here. Where did you come from? Baby, I came through time and space for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> since Ganon came, people in Castletown have been gone. Gone. Places have been ruined, and monsters are wandering everywhere. Sounds like a great vacation. Mr. Ingo is just using the ranch to gain Ganondorf's favor. Just using the ranch to gain Ganondorf's favor. What? Luigi is evil? Everyone seems to be turning evil. But Dad, he just kicked out of the ranch by Mr. Ingo. What? He will treat the horses so badly. So there's nothing I can do. Luigi turned evil? What? Luigi went on Mr. L and everybody, sorry, but... And kicked out your dad? What happened to your dad? I wonder where he went. 
That's a good question. Hmm. Let's go talk to Mr. Ingo about his crap. You know, he he didn't turn evil. I, be I f believe that he's been evil the entire time. What the hell is that? Oh, it's you. What the frick? Why do you look like the court jester? Wait, maybe this is the idea of the... This could be. You know, I never really thought about it. This could actually be, like, the start of the idea for, um... Super Paper Mario, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Because, I mean, he's supposed to re resemble Luigi, and look at what he's wearing. No, that... 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 There are some people in Kaikariko spreading rumors that I cheated Talon out of the ranch, but, uh... Don't be ridiculous! The guy Talon was weak! I, the hard-working Ingo, poured so much energy in this place. I don't want any strangers like you staying, saying anything bad about me. Listen, the great Ganondorf recognizes my ob obvious talents and gave the ranch to me. I will raise a fine horse and win recognition from the great Ganondorf. Say, young man, do you want to ride on one of my fine horses? Pay me ten rupees and you can ride. Yeah. Do you want to hear how to ride? No. <laughs> I have a pretty good idea of how to ride, honestly. I think I know how to ride it. Wait, do I have to just ride this horse? This isn't a pona! This isn't a po What do I do? Do I just jump over the gates? Okay. We. I have no idea what to do. I take it I just jump over these. Um, okay. Wait, you just get to ride for like a minute? How do I get my horse? I want my horse. I want me I want my horse. So you only get to ride for a limited amount of time? While supplies last? Why am I advertising for everything in this? I don't even know. Um So you can't jump over this one, that's weird. I don't know why I can't jump over that one. I'm gonna try though. Wait, is that a Pona? Wait, is it, that's gotta be a Pona. No, get, get down. Get down, you! Get down! With your bad side. I want to ride freaking... A po Why can't I ride you? I want to ride you! Why don't you like me? I want to play at the ocarina. Time's up, young man. You'll pay 10 rupees. You'll play it along, around long enough. So is that it? I wonder if I go in there and I play the ocarina and then uh, Pona is supposed to... I wonder if I steal my horse. Oh my god, that would be the most badass thing ever. Hey, I'm going to do that again and see if I can uh, use the thing, my ocarina in there. Oh, okay, fine, whatever. Approach the horse quietly and stand by its side. Press A to mount up. Use the control stick to make it run, yada yada yada. Once it starts running, you whip it. You whip it good. You whip it. You know. Just get out there, Peter Griffin, and do the crap that you usually do. If you try to jump over a fence at an angle, the horse won't like it and won't jump. After the horse comes to a complete stop, press A to dismount. Now, have fun! Thank you so much! <laughs> eh, you're more like Wild Ouija, honestly. Yeah, I can use the ocarina here! Okay, so, what's what's the song? I, I had a feeling! That's what I was supposed to do for some reason. <coughs> <clears throat> song of time, some song, sorry song, a pony song. Um, up left right. Uh, okay. Up left right, up left right. <clears throat> now I wonder, will you love me, a pony? Like the little horsey that you are. Yes? Er? Maybe? Possibly? Where are you? A pony! A pony! A pony! I like you very, very, er, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what to say about this. Hi, hi. Hey, time's up, young man. You only paid 10 rupees. You have to play. You've played around long enough. Is that it? There's gotta be a way for me to get the horse. I will figure this out. I wonder if I play the song outside the. I wonder if I play it outside here, the horse goes buckshot crazy and jumps out. And like, oh, Link, I missed you! For not even recognizing me. Wait, yeah, sure enough. Right? Where, where's Epona? Epona! Oh, there you are. My sweet. We shall escape together. Oh, I know what I... You know what? I have an idea. Maybe if I make it dark out... 
something else happens, and I can probably, um... I don't freaking know. I'm just gonna try some stuff and see what I can do. Okay, so... It's not out here. <gasps> Melon! Melon! Okay, so let's play... No, wait. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, let's play together, Malin. You and me. What happens? Something. You, do you know my mother's song? Maybe we have the same mother. That'd be kind of weird. Everyone like really liked that song. My dad, even in, even Mr. Ingo left. But since Ganondorf appeared, Mr. Ingo has been changed completely. I don't think completely. I think he's been an ass his whole life. I think he's just finally acted on it, to be honest with you. I can remember the good old days, only while I sing the song. Also, opponent really liked that uh, song. Only I could tame that horse. Even Mr. Indigo had a hard time. <laughs> that that told me absolutely nothing. I wonder if her dad's even in this like time period anymore. I wonder if, he, if you can even see him. Is Is he in here now? Or is he in the stable? What the f- Oh! Ho, 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 my revenge! Suck it, bitch! Okay, fine, this. Try this. Let's wake him up. Come on, he's sleeping. Wake him up. Okay, please don't get on the bed. Link, do me a favor and not get on the bed. Z, 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 Stop that song. I, I, I wonder if I play it. I wonder what will happen if I play your song in front of you, sir. Stop that song? What? What is that song? Stop that song. I I mumble mumble. Yes, you 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 mumble mumble. Please please <laughs> please please. Dude, stop getting on the bed! Oh my God! Sucker all! Um, is there another song? The Song of Awakening? The Song of Pissing People Off? That'd be an awesome song. Will you just tell me something? Opponent really liked that song. Yeah, I know. Wait, so did Mr. Ingo. I wonder if I play the song to him while he's awake if something happens. Because she said he liked the song too, so that might be something. If they both really like the song, something might happen. I guess I could try it. <clears throat> anyway, I'm gonna play a song for Ingo because he's he's a guy that likes songs of the sort. He is a court jester now. Um, let's see. It goes. Now let's see how you react to the song while you're awake. Huh? Eh? You know it, don't you? You know it. Pay me ten rupees and you can ride. You are an ass. To see, like to see Mario in my video games. I played this song everywhere. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. Anything? Oh, visitor! It's been a long time since we've had a visitor. Hee <laughs> So there's nothing I can do. Get that right. You suck. Good day, man. Okay, dude. Fine, I'll ride the horse. I want to figure out what to do. No, I don't want to hear it. Run into the van! <laughs> I don't want to... God, you suck. I wonder if I just talk to him and play the song in here. Maybe that'll make a difference. If it makes a difference, then oh my god. Really? Do you know the song? If you use Z-targeting, you can talk to me from the horseback. Are you ready to go home soon? Yes, I'm done. Good lord. Maybe there was a hint to what I needed to do. I don't know. I'm kind of at a dead end as to what to do because I don't... I'm not really given any clear direction. 
I don't want to listen. Just let me ride the dang horse. Uh, Pona, where are you? You over there? Come on, Pona. You, you know you like me. Oh, don't pretend. God. I don't know why she keeps pretending she don't like me. Every time I play the song, it's like it's like I'm hypnotizing her. <coughs> and the liking me. Or something. It's like hypnosis. Some kind of crazy stuff like that. I don't even know. Hi. <laughs> Come in, my line. Okay. Can I talk to you from over here? You're getting better. How about a little race with me? Oh, this is what I needed to do. 50, 50 rupees? Okay. And then I run off with the horse. <laughs> Come on, let's go, Apona. I need my horse. No, you can't win. I'm the protagonist. I must win this. I must defeat um, the evil guy from Super Paper Mario. I must beat you. I'm going to win. Good. One lap? Please tell me it's one lap. It's gotta be one lap. If it's not one lap, I'm going to lose this mission. Come on, baby. I won! That's good, right? <laughs> what the? Um, if the great, if the great Ganondorf found out about this humiliation, hey you, how about another race? If you win, you can keep the horse. Oh, it's on like Donkey Kong, baby. Oh, snap! Come on, Epona. I'm going to beat this guy into a bloody poop. That did not sound right because I meant to say bloody pulp and it came off as poop. That's cool. So the main way to win this is probably just to hug the inner edge if this guy would get off my tail. But knowing him, he won't. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me, dude. Thank you. And I won again. You suck. Whoa! Real close up of spasms. <laughs> What's with that horse? Is that a pona? Did you did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? Oh, sorry, I forgot to give Luigi voice. I was going to present that horse to Great Cannon, but I bet on it in the race and lost. Shoot! <laughs> As I promised, I'll give the horse to you. However, I will never let you leave this ranch. What? <laughs> Good luck with that, pal.